The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, in his opening remarks, stated that the same approach was adopted during the Kogi and Bayasa states' election, urging the security chiefs to rethink the strategies in ensuring a peaceful election period. Professor Yakubu said that a lot of attention was given to numbers rather than setting priorities on strategic deployment. INEC has decided that although the commission has no power under the law to cancel an election, it should not proceed with the process in any constituency where the safety of voters, our personnel, and election materials is threatened. Furthermore, collection of results will not proceed where the collection centers are invaded. No declaration of winners will be made where returning officers are threatened. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, revealed that anyone who tries to compromise the electoral system during the January 25th rerun elections in some states will be made a scapegoat. No doubt can come out and commit any electoral offense on the election day without connivance. Without collaboration, active, sincere collaboration, we cannot instill confidence in the larger society. The meeting had representatives of the Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, and Chief of Air Staff, including men and officers from the paramilitary, including Customs, Immigration, Correctional Services, as well as the EFCC. The special committee formulated by the electoral body on a regular basis does an appraiser of the performances of security agencies who participate in the nation's elections. Patience, Osaugiwa reporting.